The switch turns your tool on and off. It also works with the controller to vary the speed of the motor. A bad switch can cause the polisher to not turn on, turn on only intermittently, or no longer vary the motor speeds. Replacing the switch is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing half of the rear handle housing. With the cover removed, I have access to the switch. Before I replace the switch, I'll want to note the location of each of the wires. Then I'll go ahead and remove them. Now I can install the new switch. I'll start with the black cord wire. Then the white cord wire. The pink wire from the controller. the two orange wires. On the top of the switch, the white wire, blue wire, and finally the yellow wire. And I'll finish by reinstalling the housing. And that's all it takes to install a new switch in your polisher. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.